Hello everyone, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on this simple beginner Unreal tutorial video that will show you how you can enable and disable input in your levels and for your player characters. Now this node is really simple and easy to understand, it has one basic concept behind it and that's to stop players from inputting any commands into their player character or some other entity in your level and then enabling the same options later on when you desire to do so. Right here I have my simple 2D platformer which is also the basics of my Unreal Engine tutorial on how you can create the same platformer in literally 15 or 20 minutes. You can check that out in the description below. But right now I want to show you how this disable input node would function when my player character, which is this nice cube right here, reaches this space here and this trigger box. Right now it has the simple objective, the trigger box above, to simply showcase a widget which says win and represent the moment when players actually manage to beat the level and reach its very top. So let's see how it works right now. Here is my player character, it jumps about and it gets this widget win message. However, as you can see, I can still move my player character around. I'm going to stop that, I'm going to disable it from being able to be moved through my commands, the keyboard commands, by editing the blueprint for the same level. So I'm going to go to blueprint, open level blueprints, which is already here. And as you can see, I have two simple strings or set of nodes in the blueprint, which is actually the fail when you fail through the level. We don't want to do anything with that right now. And we have the win option where you simply get the win widget and it's displayed on screen. But I want to add a disable input node between these two, which will stop players from moving around once they reach the top. I'm going to extend these so I have a bit more space between them. I'm going to break this connection. You can do that simply by holding Alt and clicking on it. And I'm going to add disable input node or function right here under motion tracking. And you can see it, it's right here. I need to add both the target and player controller. The target is going to be get player character. Here it is. And player control node is going to be, you guessed it, get player controller. And here we have both nodes. And only thing that I need to do is to input, disable input. <laughs> so I need to connect it with create widget. So we still get that same message. I need to comply, compile and comply with compile save and let's test it out here is my character i'm jumping about and when i reach the same space the same trigger box my input is gone the thing i need to do here is to move it about the trigger volume needs to be a bit more farther here so it doesn't activate it my character doesn't activate it on jump instead i need to reach the upper platform and here it is, nothing on my keyboard is working and my player controller stopped completely. Now, the same simple concept applies to enable input, which is basically the same node, but not disable, but enable. So let's say we want to enable input after a few seconds of the same message, which is after a few seconds of the input being disabled. So I'm going to keep the same widget here. I'm just going to add another node. I'm going to break this connection again, which is enable input. Here it is. As you can see, now I don't want to connect them immediately. I want to connect these two, but I want to add again a simple delay node. 
here it is one of the easiest and easy to understand nodes in Unreal Engine for beginners which I connect with enable input and I'm going to set this for example to uh, let's say three seconds the last thing I need to do here is to again connect enable input with both player character and player controller so here they are and I need to compile and save and right now the process would, should look like me disabling input having a three second delay enable it again all the while the win widget is presented or is presented once the enable input is back so let's try it out here we are we jump and I'm frozen one two here's the win and I can move once again now with the widget and that's basically it. this set of nodes enable and disable input is really simple really straightforward really easy to use you can employ it in a range of settings in a range of projects it's really beginner stuff but still something that's really useful and most importantly for all beginners like we are clearly it's easy to understand how the function operates and how it works inside of the blueprint system so you can easily use it in your project as well that's it for this tutorial it's really simple it's really straightforward hopefully you found it useful if you did please consider subscribing to my channel please consider supporting me through a range of methods that you can find in the description below including sending me crypto everybody loves crypto i do too so if you want to support the channel and most of my videos which are created on a weekly basis please consider doing that in the description below using that set of ideas and options of course leave a like if you found it useful again leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions and that's it for me thank you so much for watching my name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects until next time bye bye